In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recreate this cute photo of a mother and her baby reflecting in some water. And it's a super simple process. You don't need a lot of experience or a bunch of fancy equipment. All you need is your camera and preferably a tripod. Let's get started. We're jumping right into our tutorial today of our mother and our baby reflecting in water. And this is a really simple process. We're gonna be editing it today in Photoshop, but if you don't have Photoshop, you can use it in probably pretty much any editor out there. We're gonna be working with two photos and that's all you really have to do is take two photos and basically blend them together. So guys, if you're looking to score some points with your significant other, or maybe looking for a great gift idea for a grandma or a mother or who knows what, this is a great option for you. And this is just a super simple idea using a reflection that you can take and let your imagination run wild and implement this into all sorts of photography. So we're jumping into Photoshop today and if you don't have Lightroom or Photoshop, that's something that I really recommend if you're getting serious about photography. Check the description for a link to go and download that. So let's get going and jump right into Photoshop. Okay, so we're here in Photoshop and we've imported a few of the photos that we're gonna be using. And I wanted to show you the overall setup here that I did. This was not a planned shoot. This was just something that I saw last minute. Obviously we're losing light here pretty quick. And I thought, well, why not? Let's just do this. So it's not perfect, nor did I spend a lot of time preparing for this. I just thought the outcome was kind of cute and I'd show you how to do it. When you found your puddle or your body of water or your mirror or window or whatever you wanna use, take a few minutes to look around, rearrange your camera and actually look at the composition. In this case, I did move it around a few times and take a few photos to see exactly what that looks like. And the idea here is you wanna get it set up on the tripod or somewhere very stable. And then we're gonna take multiple exposures and then blend them together. I actually got my subject to stand there to see that it would actually clear and I wasn't cutting anything off and whatnot. But like I said, I was losing a lot of light. So I ended up with this composition here it was getting dark and I wanted a bit of detail in the face still, so this is what I came up with. And of course, if you're working with children anytime, they're not gonna be overly easy. You gotta be quick and leave some room for error, have some fun with it, otherwise it's not gonna look natural. And here we're kind of struggling with the light, the composition, and of course, the baby who wants to play in the puddle. When you found a composition, that's the main thing, you don't wanna move your camera. Ideally, have your camera on a tripod and then use a remote trigger to trigger when you think it's perfect. So ideally you wanna have both people lining up here. So a tip for you is to mark the ground where they're standing because you want that to be very similar, of course. So the two photos that I actually ended up going with was this one with mom over here, standing close just in case baby decided to dive in. And the second photo here was just mom standing there and baby's somewhere safe. So once you decide on the two photos that you want to use, all you need to do is stack them together and there's a few ways that you can do that. But for today, what I'm going to do is actually just drag and drop. I'm going to click on the background here and actually just drag it over to the other photo that I want to put it on. And it might not line up there, so you might have to press Control or Command T and make sure it fits right over top perfectly. So now as you can see, Photoshop's made it into a layer and now we have both photos stacked on top of each other. And layers are just a great way to make changes to our photos without actually altering or making huge changes to the original. And now we're gonna work with something called a mask and we wanna select which photo we want to mask. In this case, I'll use this one and click down here where it says add layer mask. And what this is gonna allow us to do is actually add or remove parts of one layer revealing the other layers below. And we're gonna be working with black and white here. To be able to get rid of this layer and reveal the bottom layer, we're gonna need a black brush. So over here, we're gonna select our black, and what we're gonna do is reveal that bottom layer. And you can actually see it happening as you paint over here. So here we go. All I need to do is grab my brush tool and literally just paint over the area that I want to reveal from the layer below. And just like that, we've got our mother being revealed from the layer below and because she's not in the same photo twice because well that's impossible we can actually just go ahead and brush her out of there and just like that we've got our mom and our baby 
So obviously there's still some work to do here. We got some cones and some kind of distracting objects here, but this was kind of a rush job for time's sake. But yeah, you can just use a crop tool maybe. And if it's not perfect for you, just kind of arrange it the way you want it. Make a little bit of an adjustment and boom, there's our photo. And just like that, in just a few minutes, you can use a layer and a mask to create your own reflection or be creative with really whatever you're looking for. You could add, as you saw there, multiple people in the same photo and just use your imagination. So it's as simple as that, guys. I hope that made sense for you. And if you have any questions or comments, make sure you drop them down below. If you did enjoy this video, if it helped you out, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. And like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time.